Yo, what's up guys? Uh, welcome back. So, <laughs> it's that time of year again. Uh, the balance discussion. It has been a solid, like, four months? Um, yeah, almost four months ever since we uh, got our August uh, 29 uh, Forbidden and Limited list, so like four months uh, ago. So, I think we, we can all agree that we um, we want a new list, or at least we, we are anxiously awaiting uh, our possible new TCG list, but again, we don't have an end date. We don't know when we exactly can expect um, a possible new Forbidden, or at least a yeah, new TCG Forbidden and Limited list, so this will be all speculation. But, um, yeah, one of the reasons because of uh, yeah, the OCG recently got its uh, its OCG list, or at least its changes to the OCG format. So we can definitely expect a list, uh, yeah, someone <laughs> hopefully uh, within the next few weeks. But, uh, yeah, again, not really sure about that. Um, first of all... I know these videos, um, these are heavily loaded with opinions, so guys, uh, respect each other, uh, feel free to leave your opinion, your own opinion about the list, about the changes, uh, possible changes down below, but again, respect each other. And uh, the second thing uh, about these, uh, about uh, yeah, the ban list, uh, the forbidden and limited list in general, is that you know that... Um, yeah, possibly the main goal uh, of these uh, forbidden and limited lists is the um, upcoming support. Well, you know, selling booster packs, uh, the mega tins, uh, and so on. That's one of the biggest, not maybe the biggest reason that uh, we have these uh, forbidden and limited lists. So, keeping this in mind, um, yeah, of, of, of making the list, uh, giving suggestions for the list is something very important, uh, since a lot of cards still need a reprint and. Uh, the chances are small that Konami is going to hit a card that's like um, recently released and not yet reprinted. So, not always, but that's most of the time the case. Anyway, so um, yeah, the following are yeah, suggestions that might be uh, put on the Forbidden Limited list soon by Konami, but again, it's all speculation. So, the list here. Um, I have a few cards that I definitely want to see hit in uh, any kind of shape or any kind of form. But, uh, again, there are a lot of cards that probably won't get hit or get touched or will get touched that we didn't spoke about. But, you know, um, the first card I think doesn't need an explanation. Uh, it's also a card that recently got hit, got banned in the OCG and that's Major Spectre Unicorn. It, it definitely shapes the format around it. It's uh, being used in pretty much every pen deck because it's so generic and so good not to target ball and, and affect that you know uh, unicorn right uh, monster turn compulsory with uh, 2000 attack the card is just uh, too uh, good and I won't be surprised if this card will be banned for us uh, next TCG ban list the second card I have here on uh, the ban list well next card uh, that probably well hopefully will get banned because there's no reason or at least there's no way Konami is going to keep Elder Entity Northern legal um, at one when Zodiac Beasts are getting released. Well, you know, Instant Fusion into Northern, um, Reborn your Malmoret for example, and then, you know, one card exceed using your Malmoret is, and then, yeah, leave your Northern on the field and use Northern later. So, you know the shenanigans and Come on, there's like no way uh, Northern is, or at least Northern will be legal in a format with Zodiac Beasts as well. Since oh, that's also one of the reasons, or at least one of the most important things here when we can like make a ban list is um, see which decks, yeah, which decks, which new archetypes are coming out. And then, yeah, look at the OCG, look at their format, their metagame, and you know, Zodiac Beasts are like above 90% uh, uh, as yeah, representation in the top um, deck list. But again, Elder Entity Northern, um, yeah, featuring Instant Fusion, Instant Fusion uh, could also be hit, but then again, it's Northern that's the problem, not Instant Fusion, since be before Northern, Instant Fusion, like, never was really a problem. So it's uh, mostly because of Northern. The last card I have banned, and uh, it's a card that I've put on my list like every past um, list discussion, 
emptiness. Um, you know, you saw Billy Break like uh, winning, I believe, um, the f yeah, indeed the finals of YCS Bokum last week, two weeks ago with emptiness. I mean, he was 1-0 behind against Joshua Smith. He ripped that in uh, he ripped that Vanity's emptiness off of a Metal Force fusion. He sent back before that, so empty. Yeah, eventually was able to like uh, uh, make one one, and eventually he won to do Tenko Seka in game number three. But um, there are countless of examples that I can give where Vanity's emptiness is so disgustingly um, it is such a disgusting card that that wins games on its own and um, again I don't need to explain why Vanity's emptiness is a card that's definitely been worthy all right uh, next a few cards that might get uh, limited to one and I believe the first card uh, again, uh, also uh, in the OCG, the card got limited to one recently, and that's Speedroid the Terror Top. There are just too many options for this card, too many incredible boards you can spam out in a lot of decks. Well, mainly featuring uh, Yangzix, for example, but of course, I'm hinting to Zodiac Beasts um, coming out really soon for us TCG players. So, uh, one of the reasons here um, is yeah, one of the reasons Zodiac Beast hitting Speedroid a Terra Top. You know, Tour Guide does also hit. And uh, yeah, Terratop kind of does the same way. We do have um, other cards to play like, or at least have that one card rank 3x seat. But again, Terratop doesn't need your uh, normal summon and it's just so, so uh, overpowered. Okay, you hit other decks, you hit speed droids, but again, Terratop just, it opens up so many uh, sick combos. So I won't be surprised if uh, TCG Konami follows the OCG uh, limitation on this card. Uh, the second card here is um, is like one of the best synchros in today's format and I believe no surprise to a lot of people and that's Cyframe Lord Omega, generic which already hints that it's probably going to get limited in yeah maybe not now but in uh, the near future. Also, a lot of people are saying Level Eater should be banned, following again the OCG trend of the previous OCG uh, ban list where Level Eater got banned. But um, yeah, the same line, Cyframe Lord Omega is again a, is such a great, great uh, um, synchro, and a lot of decks uh, can like spam multiple Omegas, you know, uh, hit the opponent's hand, and well, not only Minerva Sworn, but uh, you know, the, the, yeah, the, the, the Dark Synchro decks, or you know, Saw the video of like the, the Synchro, like that topped YCS uh, Bokum two weeks ago. He also, uh, it was the same guy that also topped 32 to YCS Rimini a couple of months ago. Uh, featuring uh, multiple, yeah, the hand loop featuring uh, Cyframe Lord Omega, triple Cyframe Lord Omega. And he wasn't, play he wasn't playing level eater, so only hitting level eater or only banning level eater definitely does not solve the problem um, of uh, yeah the, the hand loop pitch deck where if you play against that deck and they open you like don't play for uh, 15 minutes just see your opponent making all those uh, plays and uh, end with uh, his board with like triple omega trishula and something else it's uh, that's not fun to play again, so I won't be surprised if they uh, hit Cyframe Lord Omega in any kind of uh, form. The next card here is um, is a card also uh, a recent, or at least a new card uh, just released in our TCG format, but it has been around in the OCG format and is also limited over there with their new list, and that's Tree Total. Yeah, totally awesome, but I. Pr I don't really expect Konami hitting Tree Toad or Totally Awesome uh, yet here in the TCG um, because again it's it's a new card and they probably want to reprint right uh, reprint it uh, in the near future so I'm, I'm not I'm not really expecting them to hit Totally Awesome Bahamut Shark is another option but again if you hit Northern I don't see any reason to hit Bahamut Shark well yeah heroes. It's not really a deck that should be able to special summon Tree Toad. Well, yeah, totally awesome. It's like um, the same, uh, uh, or at least you can link this to um, Tolle Miles. Well, the fact that, that, that any rank 4 XC deck was able to uh, special summon Cyber Dragon in Infinity wasn't fair. And you could link that to Bahamut Shark, but uh, again, if you hit Northern, if you ban Northern, I don't really see a problem of keeping Bahamut Shark legal. The next card here on the list is... Um, 
is again like one of the best generic draw cards currently in the game. Bot of Desires is um, is a heavily debated card. A lot of people say it isn't really a good card. A lot, uh, other people say it's like one of the best cards currently in the game, and um, it's definitely up there. Bot of Desires um, is being main decked in like a lot of decks. If you see the top 32 deck list from YCS Pokemon, for example, a lot of decks, different decks, are main decking Pot of Desires. Okay, it does have like a few. Uh, downsides to the card you don't really want to banish ma main engine cards so that's also one of the reasons why the OCG players dropped completely dropped Pot of Desires from their main deck because of Zodiac Beast right you don't want to banish one of your reds since it's so important for your whole uh, engine and your whole setup so that's like the biggest reason um, why Pot of Desires isn't really seeing any play well much play in the OCG but here in the TCG I could expect a limitation on Pot of Desires, but I won't be surprised if uh, they just leave Pot of Desires at 3, since again it needs to be reprinted, etc, etc. Then we have ABCs, uh, also one of the most powerful decks currently in the TCG. It has been hit in the OCG in the form of the field spell, you know, Union Hanger um, is put to 1, has been put to 1 uh, in the OCG, but... Again, what card sh should we hit uh, for ABC? Well, do ABCs need to get hit, right? Um, maybe one card is indeed a field spell. You could maybe limit ABC Dragon Buster. Maybe hit Terraforming, which I'm not a huge fan of. But it seems that the field spell, well, limiting the field spell is like the, the only option to hit uh, to hit ABC. Then again, I, I don't really um, see the need for them hitting ABCs now, at least. At, at uh, uh, this time of period, but maybe in the future hitting something like the field spell is uh, is definitely something uh, they could uh, do. So following the OCG trend again. Two cards still remaining here, and the first one is uh, Dante. Uh, Burning Abyss has been around for like two years, or like, yeah, you know, the decks that were relevant together with Burning Abyss, Shadows, Satellites, well, they, ple they, they pretty much uh, disappeared from the format, they pretty much disappeared from the top tier meta game, and uh, Burning Abyss is still out there. You know, Dante, or at least, yeah, Burning Abyss is not, is currently not the best uh, tier one deck, but um, yeah, it still has a lot of power play, so it's still very much relevant to play in, like, uh, YCS, for example. But uh, yeah, still, does Burning Abyss st uh, still need a hit, since again, it's not really too relevant anymore, and uh, with the release of Zodiac Beasts uh, very soon, it's again like uh, up for discussion, should uh, Dante, uh, Travel of the Burning Abyss, need a hit, well, hard to say. And the last card, um, again, heavily, heavily debated online, uh, in a lot of videos, um, I could put this card as well here uh, up for limitation that's Solemn Strike. Solemn Strike definitely um, adds up to the, our current format. You know our current format is so heavily based on winning the dice roll. You ha you just have to open up your... Uh, for, yeah, you, ju you, you, you just have to open up uh, the match otherwise... <laughs> It's just looking very grim for you unless you heavily uh, build your deck on going, uh, on going second, right? But still, cards like Solemn Strike and also Dimensional Barrier are cards that haven't that heavenly contribute to uh, setting up that first turn big board that your opponent can't overcome. And if you can lock your opponent out of the duel, prevent your opponent from setting up his field on his first turn with Strike, with Dimensional Barrier and uh, yeah... You can just OTK your opponent after that, right? So, Solemn Strike, uh, at least put Solemn Strike to 1, is definitely something uh, they might do. Uh, just because it's such a powerful uh, card. But then again, we do need answers to, like, Pendulum Summon, uh, like, against powerful boss monsters. So, it's again a card that's heavily uh, up for debate. Same with Dimensional Barrier, very new card, secret as well, expensive card currently. And uh, it seems uh, a bit too soon to hit the Dimensional Barrier. Just release it first as a promo card, mass release it, and then maybe uh, hit Dimensional Barrier. But uh, it's mainly some Strike that I'm targeting here. 
And then last but not least, a few cards that might go to two. I believe, uh, yeah, I have two cards uh, Cards mentioned here. The first one is Book of Moon. It's currently at three in the OCG. I don't see any reason not to bring back Book of Moon. And uh, the second card is Reckless Greed. Reckless Greed is also a card that I like put up in a discussion, or at least put to two. But um, it's mainly because of, uh, you know, Paleozoics and uh, the fact that you have the chance of drawing multiple Reckless Greed uh, and then bypassing its restriction of skipping your next, uh, yeah, two draw faces and uh, with with uh, cards like uh, Opabinia, the Paleozoic Exceed, you can like bypass this restriction very very easy or very very easily so it's again a card that's up for debate uh, but yeah again there are other cards I'd want, rather want to see hit first before Regulus Agreed and then I have one card mentioned going to three and that's Maxi I believe for the obvious reasons um, you know Zodiac, Zodiac Beasts are coming out soon in DCG. Maxi is at 3 in the OCG and it's such an important card. Uh, if you're not going first against those heavily special summon uh, based decks like for example Zodiac Beast. So I, I don't know why Konami, TCG Konami put this card to 2. Uh, well I know why because it's a very powerful card but you know what I uh, mean. Uh, there are also other cards like uh, the cards that probably will get an Eroata or there are of course, of course many more cards that uh, definitely have to come off, off of the ban list. You know, uh, uh, Sangen, uh, uh, Neo Special and Grand Mall, for example are all cards uh, that won't probably, prob yeah, probably won't have like an impact on today's format but yeah, again, that would just make this video uh, too uh, long. So guys, feel free to leave your own lists, uh, own suggestions in the comment section down below. But again, thanks for watching and feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Beat him signing out. Peace.